When working with exponents, we use something called the product rule. Product, remember, means to multiply. When you have two bases that match, and each base has an exponent, in this case we're looking at bases of a and exponents of 3 and 2, when you multiply those bases together you can add the exponents. But first let's talk about what's actually happening. a to the third is the same as a times a times a, all multiplied to a times a. If we think about that, it's the same as multiplying a to itself five times. So it would be the same as adding three to two because it's saying how many times a is being multiplied all together. So if we multiply a to the m times a to the n, we get a to the m plus n. Let's work some examples to better understand this concept. If we have 2x to the third multiplied to 4x to the second multiplied to negative 3 times x, we can multiply all our numbers together because multiplication is commutative and it doesn't matter which order they come in, we just multiply them straight across. So we have 2 times 4 which is 8 times negative 3 which is negative 24. Adding our exponents because all our bases are exactly the same and they're all being multiplied together, we get x to the 3 plus 2 which is 5 plus 1 here. If there's never, if there's not any exponent, we understand that to be 1. So we add them all together and we get to the 6th. Example 2 is done similarly, only we have more than one base here. So we're going to have to make sure that we match up our bases when we add our exponents. Again, we just multiply the numbers together and get 10. And when we multiply our bases, we have to make sure that we keep track of which ones are together. and c is by itself. So first a, a to the third times a to the ninth is a to the twelfth. Next with b's we have b to the seventh multiplied to b to the second. So we get b to the ninth. With our c, since we're not multiplying that base to anything else, it's just to the fourth. Remember, when multiplying bases that match, you add the exponents.